dark matter, the fiddle factor. What do I mean by a fiddle factor? Well, a fiddle factor is something that's supposed to give what people think is the right answer, but because they know what the right answer is, they put that in to make it work. When I used to be a science teacher in public schools in England and Wales, fiddle factors were something that some science teachers would like to use. For example, supposing carbon dioxide gas is bubbled through uh, water or bubbled through any particular medium, the carbon dioxide gas should be acidic. But carbon dioxide is not very acidic and it would be very difficult therefore to see a change with, for example, an indicator solution like Universal Indicator. And uh, one of the experiments that some science teachers like to do was to be able to show that the gases being given off by cigarette smoke were highly acid. So in order to do that, they had the carbon dioxide bubbling through universal indicator solution, but prior to the experiment, they put a slow moving drop of sulfuric acid on the inside of the flask, which the pupils haven't noticed happened, so that by the time the experiment had gone on, that drop would run down, go into the solution and turn it the bright red colour that strong acids would produce. They wanted to demonstrate to the class that there was an acid there, so they thought it was okay to put a bit of acid in to make sure that the material turned the colour that they wanted to give. It was a fiddle factor. Now the Big Bang Theory has a fiddle factor called dark matter. Because given the idea that the Big Bang teaches that the universe came into existence about 14.7 billion years ago, they reckon, in that case, there should be a particular amount of mass in the universe that can be measured in order for the various forces of the universe to work. But actually, the forces of the universe don't work with the amount of mass that's observed in the universe. There is not enough mass. So instead, they come up with a fiddle factor. They say that there's a lot of material in the universe called dark matter. What do they mean by dark matter? By calling it dark, they mean that it has no energy, and will reflect no light. In other words, there's no interaction with anything else. So you've got material that's supposed to have mass, but doesn't interact with anything, doesn't have any energy, and therefore you can't possibly detect that it's there. So if you can't detect that it's there, how do you know it's there? You don't. It is a fiddle factor in order to make the theory work. The Big Bang Theory is in fact in the manner that I described in a previous Creation Bytes, it's a theory like a student auto. It's held together with duct tape. Dark matter is simply one of the pieces of duct tape without which the Big Bang Theory would fall apart.